What's up with it, Reese? What's up, man? What's up? Man, back like we left something, man. <laughs> man, I see you in camp getting ready for something. I'm chilling, bro. Yeah, so in camp right now, we got something coming up. Um, You know, I'm going to let y'all know soon what's going on. We got some big news coming up, but just in camp, bro. Grinding, I don't feel like being here today. <laughs> I went to sleep like 4 o'clock in the morning. It's July 4th today. We got a party at the crib and shit, but I'm here. I got it in and then... That's it for you, you doing fireworks and everything today? I don't know if I'm gonna buy fireworks this year. Um, I might. It depends for the kids and shit like that. It depends. I might go stop on the way home. I ain't getting nothing yet. But we'll see. Right on, right on. Man, how it feel being in camp? Uh, back in camp, getting ready for something? It feel good, bro. Um, I mean, you know, I stay busy all the time. I'm always fucking like I'm always working. I stay ready all the time. So. Um, it just feel good to really like have something, you know, not just working to work like because most of the time out of camp, you know, I train, but you know, it's just training just to get better. But now I'm actually training for something. So it's always, of course, that's that's definitely better. And you know, every, you know, I got a goal right now. Every time I look up, you training. So always training, bro. I never stop. Bro. Always training, except when I travel and shit like that. When I'm home, I train. I'm, I'm surprised you didn't have Evans here with you today. I talked to Evans on the way to the gym. <laughs> I talked <laughs> to him on um, today. He. He ready to start, but we start with him. I, stru I start strength and conditioning next week. Okay. So, you know, we'll start that again and shit like that. Might have to come out on that Saturday and come fuck with you. Yeah, bro. Uh -huh. Man, so what? Any news we, uh, beside, besides the. Right. Um, well, I mean, I, everybody, of course, everybody seen the whole stuff with yeah. the um, Jose Zapata, Jose Ramirez. You know, that's they fighting for, they supposed to be fighting for the WBC. And um, for me, I just think it's not fair, bro, because my last fight was mandatory. And that's just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, they just kind of skipped over me or whatever. And I guess it is what it is. You play the game, that's how the game goes. Politics and involved in the sport. But I'm basically, like, if, when they fight, if they do fight and when they fight or whatever, um, I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to fight the winner. So we'll see how that goes. They got, like I said, bro, I put out a post for you. They got to see me anyway, no matter what. They, either one of them, they got to see me. So they either see me now or later. It's better you catch me not, because guess what? Later, I'm going to be more hungry, I'm going to be mad, I'm going to be more angry, and I'm going to have a bigger chip on my shoulder, and I'm going to hurt you more. So, either one, bro. Like, But I feel like I feel like it will happen. I'm going to be a champion. I, I said 2022 is a year I'm going to be a champion, a two-time champion. So, I got faith that it's going to happen. Oh, yeah. Do you have any plans on moving to 147 in your near future? Near future, no. Um, You know what? I do want to fight at 47 one day eventually. But it's like, bro, like all the smoke coming to 140. You know, I feel like all I feel like all the big names is coming to 140. And I can do. I made, you know, my last my last three fights I fought at 140. The, the two fights before that I didn't make 140, but now I hired nutritionists and I made that shit easy. Like I made that shit easy, and I felt super good, super strong, bro. Like the day before the weigh-in, I felt like a spark. That's how good I felt. And so now I got that in order, so I can do either one. I can go to 47 August there at 40, but I feel like. Oh, I, I really think that all the big names is coming to one, 140 going to be probably the hottest division in the next two, probably two or three years, 140 is going to be the division. Probably so sooner than that. Yeah. It depends on how long that. Devin keep them built. Exactly. So I think that 140 will be super hot so I can stay at either one. But I do, 147, I want one name and that's Josh Taylor at 47. If I can go to 47 and fight that day, fight him, then that's, you know what I'm saying, that's who I fight at 47. But I mean, for me, bro, all the, the money, all everything, all the smoke is coming to 140. So it's like, why would I leave? At first, I thought about, yeah, should I go to 147? And you know, you got, you know, you got Errol and Crawford and Danny and Keaton and Thurman and Anderson and stuff. But a lot of them dudes gonna be moving on. You know what I'm saying? I, Crawford and they, they, they ain't gonna have no interest in me right now. Crawford and Errol, they gonna be, they trying to fight each other and all of other dudes. So it's like, let me. I think I should stay at 140 because I think that's gonna be probably, bro, like. In the next two years, that's gonna be the highest division in boxing. And yeah. everybody gonna have to see me. All of like every name, they're gonna have to come for me anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna be rich off 140, not 47. Basically the best fight and the best at 140, period. Yeah, exactly. And, and it's like, you know, it's so many names that they're gonna somebody gonna have to see me. You know what I'm saying? Because it's too many names. You can't run around like of course in boxing, they got people that you can run, you can pick and choose, but it's gonna be too much, it's gonna be stacked. You know what I'm saying? So you, it, it won't be, it won't be too much running around. It's like people gonna, they're gonna have to, they're gonna have to fight in this. It's, 
it's too much. It's, it's like I said, it's gonna be a lot of big names that won't fall. You already got you got fighters coming up. You got fighters that's already there. Um, and then you got these fighters that you know the the bigger names. So I think it's gonna be. I really think it's gonna be the money division. What do you think about Josh Taylor dropping all these belts instead of fighting his mandatory? I mean, I think he just won't fight Catteron again. That's it. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I. You know, of course, everybody know with the with the belts and stuff. You know, you gotta pay for that or whatever. And yeah. he just he probably just he was undisputed. He probably just dropped him now, and he just want to fight who he want to fight. You know, you deserve it if you undisputed shit. You deserve to fight whoever the fuck you want to fight. You know what I'm saying? And he really everybody knows Catteron. He really lost to Catteron. Yeah, he, he really lost to fight. Catterall whooped his ass. So. He wants to fight him again. He wants to prove that it was an off night. He wants to, you know, get his revenge and stuff like that. So, um, I mean, shit, it is what it is. You know? Yeah, it, it was a good fight. I like to see it again. Anyway, that's yeah. one some, one of the fights I want to see. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. And then. <clears throat> You got so much going on, not just in boxing, but you got stuff going on outside of boxing. I seen you purchased a new truck, the Tesla truck. Yeah. So you got your trucking business going. I see you got your real estate stuff going. Yeah. Man, what is some information that you give some of these fighters coming up that's not managing their money right? Uh, you got to, like, so for me, bro, personally, I get off on investing. You know what I'm saying? I per, that's personally what I, I look to, like, invest in shit like that. I just, like, it's one thing, bro, I don't, I never looked up to athletes, you know what I'm saying? I always looked up to the people that's paying the athletes. Like, that's that's who I look up to. So I am, of course, I am an athlete and stuff, but bro, I don't look up to no athletes, bro. A lot of athletes dumb as fuck, and they don't know what to do with their money. They spend all their money, then they go broke and gotta work at car wash and shit. Like, for me, bro, like, nah, like, I, I, like, I really, I personally, I've been reading, like, finance books for the last 12, 15 years and stuff like that, uh, money books, investment books. Um, and I like I for me I get off on that that make me it's just something I like to do I like to just like invest my money in and then just see it grow and just have passive income bro like I really like I make I can sleep right now I can go to sleep and don't have to do shit and guess what I'm still making money you know what I'm saying like I can make money in my sleep and that's what it's about so um you know that's my goal just keep keep doing that keep investing keep investing and, you know yeah I seen that library full of books yeah bro I got a big ass library. It wasn't one of the books you're reading right now. I ain't I, in training camp. I don't read. That's one thing I don't. In train, I stop. I used to read too much. The crazy shit. I I really used to read too much, bro. I'd be in training camp, read like five hours a day. But it's like now nah, I put that towards just working out again. You know, like I I of course I work out now, but you know I'm gonna work out um, after the party and shit, or maybe even during the party I'm gonna work out again. So you know, um, yeah, in training camp I don't I don't read inside training. I just watch I watch boxing. Inside training camp. So outside of training camp, that's when I'll start reading again. But inside, I don't I don't pick up the books. It's like a distraction. Okay, so you say you watch boxing during training camp. What's some of the 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 fights that you go back and watch? Because I know it's a lot of the older fights. Yeah, I watch older fights more than anything, bro. Um, Duran and Tyson. Tyson, my favorite fight in Duran. But I, of course, I'm not gonna try to imitate Tyson. But I watch Duran, Hagler, Purnell. Um. I watched Zab Judah yesterday. That's one of my favorite. I like. I love Zab as a southpaw. Which fight did you watch? I watched him and Mickey Wall yesterday. Oh, that was a good ass fight yeah, too. Yeah, him and Mickey Wall yesterday. Um, and I, I be watching now. Like you know, my little brother he told me start watching um the current fighters right now. So I watch a lot of old school fighters, but now I start watching. And I never really did that. I, I never really watched my opponents either. I watch. I watch people who I might be fighting. So another person I watch. I watched Ramirez and Pedraza yesterday. You know, I was in the car and the Tesla got the fucking, they got a screen and Tesla, so we got a YouTube. So I was just, while my wife was shopping, shit, I was just watching boxing and shit, like on the screen. So, um, and so I be watching flicks. everybody. Yeah, and I be doing all, yeah, I be watching shit on Tesla. But yeah, bro, fucking, um, I watch just all, like, the current fighters who I even think I'm a fight. I just, I watch them. So I be watching, like I said, Ramirez, um, Zepeda. I watch the Dulce Bria Matias. I watch the Puelo. Um, you know that's a, that's another one. You know, Sabria been calling you out. Would you? Is there some a fight that I you look? Definitely fight Sabria Matias. Definitely fight. They say he been calling me out, bro. I never got nothing, bro. Like people say, you say you calling me out, bro. I never got. I never got no offers, bro. Like don't say you, you calling me out on Twitter. That ain't no real call out. That's just saying some shit. Like you give me you give me a paper and say they gonna fight me. They not gonna people say that shit, but they not really trying to fight, bro. They just they saying, oh, I'm gonna call you out. But if it really push come to shove, would you really fight me? Probably not. They say all that shit. I ain't gonna lie, that's somebody I would love to see you fight because they calling that man a boogie man. Especially he he got that moniker after, you know, Dada Shell passed away. Yeah. You know, God rest his soul. Mm -hmm. 
But after that, it, it seemed like he got that moniker that he's the real boogeyman at 140. But I haven't seen him fight a real tough right. Let me see fight after that. Didn't he lose somebody else? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, like, he just had a tough fight. Yeah, he just had yeah. a tough fight, bro. Come on, bro. Like, I'll, I'll fight Sabrina Matias next. Next, bro. I'll fight that nigga next, bro. Fuck you talking about. I'm not ducking no smoke from nobody, bro. I can fight him next. So people saying he calling me out and shit like that. Let's let's get a contract in my face. That's that's calling me out. Let's get a contract in front of my face. Don't say you calling me out on Twitter. That ain't calling nobody out. Get something. Get some shit in right, and I'll definitely fight him next. Let's and I'll show you the real boogie man. Damn sure, let's make that one happen. I would love to see that right. fight. But them niggas trying to talk about me, They want. They trying to be world champions and shit. They trying to get the belts and. You know, all that type of shit. They say all that shit, but like I said, when push comes to shove, bro, they ain't trying to. Nah. They, they say all that shit. They know, they know what's good for them. All right. They say all that shit. <laughs> Delby is, I'm a fucking Delby is one of his last fights. And what you think about uh, that Devin Haney situation with him going to, to Australia and signing that contract? Because I, be honest with you, I thought that was like. Wait, that, what he did? That, that contract he signed when he signed with Top Rank for three fights. Yeah. And to go to to be B side going to uh taking way, way less money. Like look, they, I think he only made two million and Wakata oh. made like ten. Yeah, and he went yeah, down yeah. there to, just to to get that fight. And and he, I think it's the same thing on the backside or something similar. Um, he got all the belts. Right. Um, yeah. It was a power move. It was right. a power move. He got all the belts. You know what I'm saying? So now he you know, with all the belts he'll be worth more. So you know, sometimes you, you take the smaller money now to get the bigger money on the back end. You know what I'm saying? That's just sometimes that's just how I gotta go. That was a hell of a power move, and he went down there and put on he, the clinic. Yeah, he put on the clinic. Yeah, he put on the clinic. In, in, in enemy territory. I, yeah, that was that was that was fire, bro. You know what I'm saying? So he took the smaller end of the cake. They, I mean, they both won. He got all the belts and what's his name? With who he fought? Oh, okay. Damn, I'm yeah, okay. Cambosis. Cambosis. Yeah, George Cambosis. Cambosis. Yeah, I forgot got his name. Ten. Yeah, yeah. Boshi straight. He ain't got a box no more. Yeah, yeah, but he won three matches. He won another pay. Oh, he gonna get another bag. Fuck, yeah, he Cam gonna Bosch, get it. Yeah, Cam Boshi straight. So they guess what? They both ate. You know, uh, Cam Boshi. You know, he shit. He, he got a big bag. He got taking that fight. Huh? Yeah. 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 So, going to enemy territory. Got 10 million, fuck, why not? You know, he probably never make that ever again. Except now he got a rematch. So fuck, they both won. They haven't got yeah. all the belts. Cam Boshi got the big bag. Fucking fight again, get another one. Cam Boshi may say. Holla at y'all, I'm done. Right. And Devin got all the belt. With all those I'm good. He fucking around and build a fucking apartment building and, and be straight in, in Australia. So uh, he be straight. You know? And that's what it, at the end of the day, bro, that's what it's about. Real talk. It, it is what it's about. Who do you think? Man, I ain't going to lie. I, I really want to see Tank and Devin next more than the Cambosa fight. That's to me, that's the biggest fight at 135. I don't think it's another fight at 135 that's bigger than Devin Haney and Tank Davis. I think for boxing wise, yeah, but for the overall, you got to put Ryan in there somewhere. For overall, like Ryan got so many fucking fans, you know what I'm saying? So if a Ryan, imagine if Ryan and Tank fight, right? That shit'll be big. Uh, either either I, I one of them, Ryan and Tank, Devin and Ryan, either one you mix them three and like it's big. But I see what you're saying because of boxing wise, yeah, yeah. But that we know that's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. No time. We know that's not gonna happen. No time. So, cause they they both tank a fucking cash cow. You know what yeah. I'm saying? He 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 a fucking he a, a star. Devin is damn near on that same level. You know what I'm saying? So they not about to, they not about to do that right now. You know, yeah. let them let them keep building, keep building. Maybe they do that forty or some yeah, shit. Tank like tinkering on the level of superstar. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he and he's still young. Right. Still so young. Tank, yeah, tank is like a fucking superstar. So. No, I don't think they're going to do that right now. One last question before I get up out of here, man. You know, we got uh, – hopefully we getting this Crawford, Crawford Earl Spence fight. Mm -hmm. Who you got winning that fight and why? Oh, man. <laughs> you know I got to ask you. Oh, man. I don't know, brother. I ain't going to lie. Look, I got to give it to Earl Spence, man. Earl Spence, man, he got that fight. Like, he got that fight in him. Like, he got that fight in him. And he got that fight Bro, I want to see that fight so bad. I don't. I really don't know, bro. I really, I really can't pick because it's like one way I got. Crushed. I'm not like when it first started. I was error. I was error all the way. What's up, Jack? What's up? What's up? When it first started, I was, I was error all the way. It was like ain't no way Crawford beat that. Crawford been not Crawford been 
destroying shit. And so it's like, I don't know, bro. I really, I really can't think, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't hear people that fall with both of them. And I tell you who they'll pick. I ain't gonna tell you on the camera. <laughs> I tell you, they say, they say they'll pick. But it's like, I don't know. Bro. I want, I want to see that fight so bad, bro. Me like, too. That, that's a fucking huge fight. That's that's something that I. I I really truly just want to see as a fan. Don't even pick nobody. You want to see that fight because it's so interesting. The skill level on them two dudes so fucking high, and it's like I just want to see them like lock horns and just go at it. And really, what would it come down to? What would it come down to? Like skill? Would it come down to power? Would it come down to speed? Would it come down to heart? Would it come down to that will just to win? What would it really come down to with them two? You know even their pressure. Yeah, who gonna would, apply pressure? Exactly. I want. I just want to see that shit, bro. Cause they both beasts. Both yeah. Are fucking beasts, bro. So I think that's I the that see. is the biggest fight in boxing. That's definitely the biggest fight in boxing. No, you can say everything you want about anybody else. Uh, besides, you can, you got um, Tyson Fury and Joshua over there. You know what I'm saying? But that's that's that, well. That's huge. That's, yeah, that's a big huge. Fight over there. But as far as like skill wise or some pound for pound shit, probably probably Spence. That's the biggest fight to make. Yeah. You gotta make that shit happen. I, I wanna see it, bro. I just hope that, you know, they don't make that shit too late. You know what I'm saying? How they do, they just make shit that's just too late and then there's always gonna be questions up in the air. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, but they say they did it with backyards in, in, in Florida and shit. Backyard, you can't say that because backyard one fucking time is away after that. You know what I'm saying? So. Even beating Keith Thurman. Even with Keith Thurman. And so, yeah, I just wanna see it. I don't know, but I wanna see it. Real talk, man. I appreciate you taking time with me today, man. No and uh, man, you already know. Let the people know you ain't got to get ready if you stay ready, man. You ain't got to get ready if you stay ready. Man, I appreciate it.